This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Download the free WhatNot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. Funko Pops, Silver Rage, and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app. Today we're going to be going through a $2,000 Funko Pop collection. I actually purchased about six months ago. So to get ready for this Sunday's live WhatNot Funko Pop auction. So this Sunday, July 31st, 2022, at 4 p.m. Eastern time, I needed to find some pops to sell. So I went into my storage unit, pulled this box out. So I think I bought this back in January this year. So about actually a little over six months ago when I got it, you know, I opened it up, went through it, verified the contents, verified conditions, paid out the seller for the collection. It's a 64 total pops worth around $2,200, give or take. And lots of times, as a reseller, I get collections in, I won't sell them at that time, I'll put them in the storage and sell them in a future date. Here's what we're gonna do, go through it. Captain Cutler, Funko Shop, that one's a pretty nice one right there. That's a grail to a lot of people out there. But if you're a baseball fan, there'll be quite a few pops in this collection that you are going to like. Like that Jay Buter, and then, of course, I'm a diehard Cubs fan. <laughs> right in this collection, you've got Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo, now with the Rockies and Yankees, but this is when they're with the Cubs, back when the Cubs were good. So this, is, to me, is a little, little bittersweet because I, I love both these guys on the Cubs. Fantastic ball players, and us Cubs fans, we miss that team. Keep going, keep cruising, here we go, look at that. Scrappy-Doo, Scooby-Doo. Uh, this isn't a limited piece, but I think it's worth like a hundred bucks. Actually, maybe a little over a hundred bucks, actually. It's a, it's a decent, decent pop right there. And then everybody's favorite, Jim Halpert. Bookface Chase, nice. Oh, here's a good one. Webley, home jersey, the gold version, limited to only 200 pieces. So this, you had to go to the, the Everett Aqua Sox game, and then, I guess, pull out this one. I'll pull out all four of these. So the Everett Aqua Sox, Funko is a big sponsor and supporter of the Everett Aqua Sox. And they'll do giveaways, you know, for the first, you know, 10,000, 5,000, 200 fans or whatever. And these are all from the baseball games. This one's the rarest one. The gold, only 200 pieces. That's a nice one. Then you've got this one, 5,000 piece one. And these two aren't numbered, but are just like limited edition Webleys, as they call them. I think that's pretty much the mascot. But yeah, 200 piece gold one. That was a rare one right there. Lavender Bunny Peeps. Did we, did we really need Peeps Pops? No, we didn't, but we got them. Okay, we got Bulbasaur, just a common pop. Like I say, some of these pops pull out will just be commons. Funko Shop Wolfgang. And next we got this Fwooper. Man, that one haunted my nightmares a few years ago. Followed up with Mansion's Groundskeeper. Noise. Oh, here we go. Here's a Scooby-Doo a grail to a lot of people out there. I think this is pushed like, what, 100 bucks or so for the werewolf one. A lot of people want this. That one's a harder one to come by now, too. So like most of all these will be available in my whatnot auction this Sunday. Madam Leota, here we go. Here is an NFL pop that has gained quite a bit of value since it, since it originally came out in 2016. This is the Derek Carr. I think he's pushed himself close to 100 bucks now for this Derek Carr. Close to 100 bucks. Nice one, nice one. We got Raj. Here is another Jim Halpert Che. This is, I remember this is one of the ones he actually told me about. Has pretty good box damage on it. But we got the Jim Halpert with some pretty good box damage. But I knew about that whenever I bought the collection. He told me about that one. Funko, what is this one? This, oh, this is a, woo. This is a 1,000 piece Freddy Funko, like a baseball guy. That one's probably pretty good value right there. Only a thousand pieces. Noise. Freddy Funko. Everybody loves the Freddy Funkos, right? There we got another Jim Halpert Chase. 
Next, we have the common Jim Halpert. Very nice. A little bit of a box damage right there, but could be a lot worse than that. Oh, another groundskeeper. Oh, look at this one. Here's a good one. Loki. 2015 Loki. That one's probably, ooh, probably at least, what, 56, 60 bucks, I bet. Maybe 70, 50, 60, 70. Looks to be, uh, this one's one that's getting harder and harder to find. So many, oh, oh that's got some damage on it. Uh, um, of course, I bought it six months ago, back then. I knew, I remember that Jim Halper was like severely damaged. Logan probably had, it has a crease on it, I'm sure. Um, I have to go back through my notes from six months ago. Because um, whenever I actually got this collection, I already pulled everything out six months ago, checked it out, verified condition. Anything that was damaged before it shipped, um, I knew about it. So that's probably one that I already knew about. Here we go. Dino 1600 piece. This is the same one? I think it is. Fun Days 2019, two of those. Just the Charmander Common. Oh, here we go. Every auction now for the past two months, everybody says, Clint, do you have any Stranger Things pops? Here's one. This is the Baskin Robbins exclusive. When this first came out, you remember this? A lot of the Baskin Robbins made you, what were they, sell this thing for like 30, 40 bucks. Like they were charging like way over like MSRP for this one. But I'm sure now, probably at least 50 bucks, I bet. Let's see, we've got the Philly Fanatic. Some of these MLB mascot pops. Ooh, that's a 2014. That's probably a pretty good value right there. 2014 Philly's mascot. And then we also have, look at this one. Shohei Otani. Nice. This is a heck of a ball player right there. Heck of a ball player. Very, very nice. And then, oh, we have another. Oh, we have two of these. Two Ringo 1600 pieces. Two of those. Looks like we've got two of these. The Toucan. Two of those. That's probably back. Uh, when it was on sale, you had a limit of two per person. So obviously, you bought two. Oh, look at this. T Mobile Park exclusive Ichiro Suzuki. Cool. That's a nice one. Everybody loves Ichiro. Heck of a ball player right there. Here we go, another Jim Halpert. This one is just the common, common Jim Halpert. Oh, here we go. One of the best ball players of probably this generation, Mike Trout. I'm gonna say this one's vaulted. This one's a 2018. Honestly, this Mike Trout, I probably, no matter what, I probably will not sell it because Mike Trout stuff, um, yes. Oh, it says, it says it's available, but it's worth 30 bucks though. But yeah, I honestly will not be selling this Mike Trout. I'll hold on to this Mike Trout. That dude is way too good. A lot of his pops are they're hard to find. And uh, yeah, his stuff is due for a bump in price. It's due. Oh, another Mike Trout. Nice. I'm going to keep both these Mike Trouts. <laughs> I'm keeping both of those. Stash those back for the future. 2020 Dwight, Dwight Schrute. Oh, look at that. We've got the OG Odin Pop. Nice. Oh, and also, if you want to, if you, there'll be a direct link in the description box of this video to my whatnot. Click that link, download the app. It's completely free. Use my link, your very first purchase. You'll even save $10 on your first purchase. And if you go right now to my account, my son account on whatnot, this live auction is scheduled. Right now, I don't have anything input into the auction. That's going to take me the rest of the weekend. So if you look at it right now, like the scheduled auction is probably going to be blank or very, very few things listed. Keep checking back throughout the weekend. Everything will be available. Buy it now. I might even drop a couple mystery boxes as a buy it now in the auction. So just keep a lookout. If there's nothing in it right now, just keep checking back. Another Everett Aqua Socks. Freddy Funko exclusive. We've got Nibbler, Futurama. A lot of their pops have gone up in a lot of value. We've got Aaron Judge, a heck of a ball player. Incredible swing at the bat. 2018 pop. Honestly, I'll probably hold on to this Trout too. Or not, I mean, yeah, Trout and the uh, Judge. Judge is also available, worth $34. Yeah, I'm not going to, I will not be selling the... Uh, 
the Trouts or the Aaron Judge. Hold on to both those. Let's see, we got some more MLB mascots. We got Philly Fanatic, a little bit of box damage right there, and the Mariner Moose. Athletics mascot, the Elephant. Next, we've got three Bryce Harpers. I won't hold on to Bryce Harper. Not a Bryce Harper fan. I'll sell all three of those. Here we go, Kevin Malone. I think this Kevin Malone's actually vaulted now. This was the original Kevin Malone they came out with. And now they've had like, what, two or three of them since. Actually, it's still available, 18 bucks, but you don't see one very much in stores anymore, though. We got Kato, SDCC 2019. HT Nerdette Hot Topic Girl exclusive. Here we have looks like a pop pin. A couple pop pins. We've got Baby Yoda and Baby Yoda. We got two Grogu Mandalorian pop pins to sell. I haven't sold any of those pop pins for a long, long time. I don't know how hard those are going to be to sell now. It might be a challenge, but they'll be they'll be for sale. I might give one away. I might sell both. Who knows? Daryl Philbin, Ultraman, Glow in the Dark. This one when it first came out, that one was hot when it first came out, SDCC 2019. It's cooled down since then, though. It's cooled down, but still a nice pop. We've got a few left. We're actually almost through this entire collection. Another Dwight Schrute. We got like a sexy Deadpool pose. Everybody needs that, right? Got to have one of those in your collection. Here's the last small stack. Apprentice Mickey. Slinky a dog, another Dwight Schrute. We have Angus Young. I used to have a whole bunch of because I played the Chase Roulette game with this pop like two or three times. Had like 30 of them. I, I, I sold them all. And it's actually still available. Common 17, Chase is 36. Not vaulted yet. Last two pops Steamboat, Steamboat Willie, Mickey Mouse. And last one. Somebody bang a trash can. It's coming out. Jose Altuve. Professional trash can banger guy. Heck of a ball player. Just likes to cheat a little bit. He's worth nine bucks. Jose Altuve, you're a common. Get back in the trash can. I would throw him, but I, I, I got to sell to recoup the cost of his collection. So that's it. That's all 60, what did I say? 64 items. So all this minus the Mike Trout and the Aaron Judge, three pops. All these minus three will be for sale this Sunday. So make sure my, my whatnot live auction this Sunday, July 31st, 4 p.m. Eastern time. All these will be for sale. Like I said, I'll be doing probably at least a half dozen giveaways. I'll choose like six, seven, eight pops out of these. Just give them away to viewers during the auction. You have to be present to win. And if you win, it's completely free. I pay shipping costs. You just get a free pop in the mail. If you never have checked it out, make sure you check out Whatnot. It is the number one online marketplace to buy and sell all of your collectibles. Best place to do it. I trust them. I use them. I buy with the app. I sell on the app. You should too. Check it out. Direct link down below. See you this Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Buy my Funko Pops. This video was brought to you by the Whatnot app. Download the free Whatnot app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. You can buy Funko Pops auction style, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards, pack breaks, and box breaks. You can have sports cards ripped for you live that you purchase. Download the Whatnot app today and participate in live auctions on the Whatnot app.